we're going to roll out uh, Julian Blackman for Sunday's game. I thought we had a great week of practice. Uh, players were dialed in. We had good meetings, um, good, good practices. Uh, thought the coaches did a good job getting the guys prepared. So looking for the opportunity to play in front of our home fans again. And you know, looking forward to looking forward to them bringing bringing the juice like they did last week. Well, is Shaq questionable or is he going to play? He'll be questionable. Uh, with Julian, does it does it feel like a you know a week to week sort of situation? Yeah, I mean he made some he made some progress this week, but kind of week to week. What is left to decide about Shaq? Obviously, you guys have thought about this, and the fact that he's questionable means progress has been made to the point where you don't yeah. want to rule him out. Yeah. No, he's had three day, three pretty good days. You know, made progress, continued to make progress. So let's see how he responds. Get together with the medical staff. Get together with Shaq, Chris, and I. You know, Gus. You know, kind of just talk, look at the tape one more time, and then make that decision. Frank, did weeks maybe it's a bit different this week for Shaq, but in weeks past when you when you knew he wasn't going to play, did you just try and get reps like scout team wise? Like how does yeah. he get to the full? Yeah, no, he got, a, he got a lot of scout team reps. You know, a lot of scout team reps, a lot of good individual reps. Um, and that's really what we've been watching. You know, that's we've really been watching a lot of the scout team stuff just to kind of see his progress. How is your questionable as well? Yeah, Buck will, be, Buck will be questionable. How have you seen the relationship between Zaire and Shaq maybe just grow more throughout this whole process because they're like best friends, but it's a weird dynamic? Yeah, it really is. It, it really is a weird dynamic, but they're already super close. They've been, you know, kind of came in here together, been super close. And even with Bobby, the whole group, and EJ, um, that whole group of linebackers, great leaders, great players. I, I really think, as you said, this has brought them even closer together. Frank, like you've talked and Shaq has, if he plays, I mean, we'll see something. No pitch count, you, you just play? Um, you know, I'm not going to go out on a limb on that. You know, I, we're, we're, that's something we need to talk about. We have talked about it. It's not like we haven't talked about it. We've talked about it. is there a pitch count, is there no pitch count. Um, you know, at the beginning when we started this process, we thought, hey, when, when we make that next step, the original plan was, oh, there'll probably be when and if he, pl when he plays, not, not if, when he plays eventually um, this week or another week. The original thought was, I mean, it probably makes sense to start with a pitch count, but but you don't want to limit yourself. So you just kind of take it day by day, case by case, and you kind of adapt as you go. Fair to say that when, whenever he does play Sunday, you expect to see the 53 of old? I mean, that's, that's where you guys are deciding that we feel like he is all the way back. I wouldn't say, you know, all the way back. I'd say, you know, he's not going to be 100%. Um, but we think when he plays, we will have made the conclusion that he can play winning football and help us win a game and not, you know, not be a, not be a negative factor on the outcome of the game. But yeah, so that, that'll, that's ultimately all that really matters. You know, the team and him, let's work together collectively, figure out when this, when, it, when is this? And, you know, I, as I've said, I respect him. He continues to work hard, fighting and scratching. So um, he's I had a good week. And he talked about this yesterday. Really, because Darius wants to play as much as anybody. Really hard for him to accept the fact that if he's out there, he could be hurting the team before he was healthy, right? I mean, that probably shows a little bit of. That's where. That's it's where. Really hard for a lot of players. Really hard, but that's where um, you know, and we know Darius as this very emotional leader, which he is, always bringing the juice. But um, what really brings me a lot of joy is to see how Darius, the man, has matured has continued to mature as a leader, as a teammate. So I think he, you know, in his younger days, not that he's old, but in his younger days, I think it would have been, just get me back on that field. I don't care about anything else. The Darius today, the Shaq today is, uh, we need to do what's right for the team and for me. And that, that's a credit to him. Frank, you guys have the Thursday night games. Do you start prep on Denver, like today at all, or how does that? Yeah, the, the, the staff, there's certain guys on the staff that, yeah, they get ahead. Everybody has their weekly. I mean, it's as you guys would imagine. I mean, it's very detailed. Everybody's like the job descriptions and assignments of what it takes to prepare each week. Everybody has their tasks to do. So basically what, you know, it, I work it through the coordinators and just, hey, just make sure I don't care when you get this done. It just all needs to be done. When we walk in Monday, we need to be ready to go. So um, or by the time we practice on Monday or get our walkthrough on Monday. So. 
the coordinators handle that with the staffs. And, uh, you know, these guys are pros. So whether they stay up all night Sunday night and do it, um, or most of them get ahead, you know, this week. Pardon? JT, all right, I suppose. Yeah. Just had a good whatever week. guy missed his practice, it's yeah. catches attention. No, he's, he's doing well. Not that you were going to rush him back anyway, but the way that Zaire Franklin has played, is it giving you more comfort in being patient during this time? Yeah, it helps. And I'm not going to lie, that helps. You know, it definitely helps. But we want as great as Zaire is playing, and he's playing great, I mean, you still want to get Shaq back on the field as soon as you can because, you know, he's – for four years, he's proven he's, if not the best linebacker in the NFL, certainly one of them. Any thought to IR with Blackman? You said week to week on him. Any thought to IR? That hasn't been discussed. I mean, you know, that hasn't been discussed at this point. Uh, with Julian now, it's a big opportunity for Rodney Thomas. He got obviously some run this last game, but how do you think he's kind of handled this week building up to that? Great. He's handled it great. He's doing really well. Um, practice and had a good week of practice. Feel very fortunate. I was. I feel very fortunate to have him. I've been around the game a long time. What was your reaction to the tour thing last night? And if you have, you thought you'd like to share on the sport what you saw? Yeah, I mean, I actually, yeah, I just I actually turned on the television right when he was on the field. So, um, yeah, those are those are hard situations. I mean, you know, no one wants to see that. I mean, the first thing you're always thinking about him and his family, and hope he's okay, and glad he is okay. So. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, th those are tough situations. And I just know, you know, I think as a league and as a, and I know our organization, I can't speak for every organization. I mean, that stuff is serious business, right? I mean, um, so we all understand that we're in a violent sport and occasionally things happen, not just in our sport, but there's a lot of professions that have dangers in them, right? Our, our profession has danger involved in it, just like a lot of other professions. Um, but. We take it very seriously. You know, it's always concerned first for the player and um, try to make sure they're taken care of.